Good morning and welcome to our second book talk of the year. Today we're going to be talking about Future Hero, Fire Mountain, um, and I have my cast with us today. We are going to go ahead and get started. Our first question is, what kind of person was Gerald in the beginning of the story? All right, don't everybody talk at once. So let me refresh your memory because it may have been a little while. So when we read Gerald, or we read Future Hero, Fire, uh, Race to Fire Mountain by Remy Blackwood, we know that Gerald at the beginning of the story, what did he like to do? He liked to be by himself so that he could draw. Draw. And did he always happen to lose his house key? Yes. Yes. Was he a pretty sweet kid? Yes. Yes. And he had a brother. Yes. And he had a cousin. And the cousin and the brother was always kind of helping him out. But he kind of thought that Gerald was a little absent-minded, maybe? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, in the beginning of the story, Gerald's a little absent-minded, very sweet kid, light to draw. We know all that, right? Okay. So, he goes to his cousin's barber shop because he had lost his key. And he didn't have anything else to do. So he goes to his cousin's barber shop and he finds in the back of the barber shop a giant mirror. And he finds that this giant mirror is a, por a portal into another world. How did Gerald change from the beginning of the story to the end of the story? Um, I think for the beginning of the story, he changed from being absent-minded to really focused and on it and like a warrior person. Good. Yeah. Anybody else? No? Okay. All right. So, Legsy worked at the barber shop, and he was a pretty skilled barber. But we found that he was actually also a warrior in the other world and Yulfrica. And um, and he was really looking for something. He made a mistake when he was in Yulfrica and he wanted to atone for that. Do you think that he was and atone means that he wanted to make up for that. He had he had made this mistake and he really wanted to to change that. Do you think that he was able to atone for the mistake that he made? Yeah, um, and w would you describe him as being somebody who was a hero? Yes. Okay. Do you want to say something? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So in Yulfrica, we met a lot of really fantastical characters. There were were hyenas. There was an iron leopard. Did you enjoy the action of this book? Yes. Did you, yes. Yeah. Did you feel like you were on the seat of your pants the whole time? Yes. Yeah. Did you feel like there were a lot of characters to try to keep up with? Yes. 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 I I will say when I was reading the book, I had to read it a couple of times, and I actually had to take notes on who was who and what they were all doing. Um, and you felt that way too. Yeah. yeah. Well, good because yeah. I don't feel so badly now. Yeah. Was there were there any particular characters that you really liked or identified with? The main character, and I'm yeah, and I was yeah. calling him Gerald, but I bet it's Jarrell. Uh, Christers, um, Gerald, and um, the other girl that he met. Okay, um, and is it Icala? Yeah, I think. Yeah, so. the one that he was working with. So one of the things that oh no, Icala was the bad sorcerer that poisoned oh. the land, and he was working with Kaminsky. Kimisi. Kimisi? 
She was the daughter of the apprentice. Um, and what was their saying? They were talking about at the beginning when he went over to this other world and she did not want him there, did she? But then they decided no. that two heads were better than one. And what yes. did they mean by that? That, um, um, they mean they, like that, um, two. Okay, if you have, whoever has a talking stick, or the talk, the microphone. Um, they meant that, um, that two heads together means that they can work together with two people. Sure. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? It's like, um, it's like, um, two is better than one, so now that, and it's like if you're painting a picture and you're doing this special thing, you need someone else to do the other part of it and mm -hmm. you to do the other, and to, and to do that part. So I think it's better to have two than one. Oh, good. Yeah, they had it. They they did learn a lot about teamwork, didn't they? So, um, so at the beginning of the story, Jarrell had symbols shaved into his head, and he had said something about his mother. Was his mother going to be happy that he had these symbols shaved into his head? No. No. But they were very symbolic, weren't they? Do you yes. remember what they meant to the story? Um, they, they were a way for him to get back to his world. But every time it burned, the, he felt the sting on the back of the head. Um, he was running out of time. Okay. And will you pass it down to Jackson and Randall because they want to say something? Um, so the symbols, uh, they were basically like a timer okay. for when he had to go back. Yeah, that was like what I was going to say. They're like a timer, and when, they bur and when it burned really bad at the end of the story, he knew that he had to go um, back to the real world. Yeah. World. Can you imagine what his hair looked like in real life when he got back? Um, yeah, yeah never, and never <laughs> he started to ignore it. Yeah, so that was pretty dangerous, huh? If he ignored it, and he would have been if like, he stays there stay. when the timer's out, well, then he's trapped there yeah. forever and ever. I yeah. feel like he wanted that for the fir first part. I feel like he wanted that. Yeah, so it could fit in. Yeah. So he felt like he had a pretty important job in the other world, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever felt like that where you're right in the middle of something and you have to leave and you think, I'm, it's not complete. I don't want to go. Yes. Like shopping. Like, my shopping. <laughs> All right. Will you pass it down to Jeremiah so he can... Oh, do you want? I thought you said okay. All right. So, is there anything about this story that you would like to add? Yes. Okay. It's it's like a story telling you, like, you need to focus on school. That's basically what I learned from it. Okay. You need to focus on school. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Sometimes it's okay to like draw and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Uh, would you recommend the story to your friends? Yes. Would you read the next story in the series? Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I yes. have already read yes. it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank book. you guys for joining us today. Our next book talk will be Treasure in the Lake. And we will be back on Thursday, February the 13th. So be there or be square. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Bye.